What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Jurassic World Dominion in this video here again today. So the second trailer for this film apparently debuted tonight at the CinemaCon panel. It was the last thing shown from Universal. I know I just recently did a Halloween Ends video. But this apparently was presented I would assume by Jeff Goldblum and Bryce Dallas Howard. And who we know will be a part of the legacy characters and the current characters of the Jurassic Park Jurassic World dynamic coming together for this epic conclusion to the jurassic era even though it's not the last movie planned for the franchise or so that's what they hope but i'll jump into some just jump into some of the reactions that came out from the trailer first before i go over this description of what was shown in the footage but someone tweeted out that universal ended with new footage from jurassic world dominion lots of extensions of scenes from the first trailer baby blue gets captured and that starts everything off a dude gets eaten off of a razor scooter ian and malcolm waves some fire it's jurassic and we're there so it sounds of course like obviously it's going to be pretty action-packed it's going to be pretty emotionally driven if there's something to do with a baby and related to the character of blue who we know is the velociraptor that owen has befriended over the course of this new trilogy that we've been getting since 2015 when they revived the jurassic park franchise someone else stated that the final trailer of jurassic world dominion is loaded with action and looks fantastic seems like the first or it seems like the movie starts with chris pratt's character trying to save blue's child which leads to everything else happening some really awesome shots were shown in the trailer so again, it seems like a lot of this will be heavily re re revolving around them trying to save and help Blue's child and, you know, trying to navigate a world that's been overran with dinosaurs, which I apparently from what I was also seeing on screen rent is what was highlighted in this footage is people navigating their way through an overran city of dinosaurs. Here's another one in Jurassic World Dominion. Owen is reunited with Blue, who has somehow given birth to a child. However, the baby raptor is kidnapped, and Owen promises to save it. So, this is, again, just descriptions of what people saw from the footage that was shown. And they're just, mostly, for the most part, talking about the same thing. I couldn't really find too many of the tweets that were giving anything different, other than talking about kind of the same ideas. But we're going to jump into a description of what is actually apparently was fully shown because this was a CinemaCon exclusive. I don't know when this will appear online, but someone took notes and they shared it online. So this is apparently what was shown in the trailer. So it opens in the woods. Owen reunites with Blue and meets Data. I guess it's Blue Child. Beta or Beta. Beta is captured. Trouble between Owen and Blue. Mazasaurus. The original trio unite, reunite. New Raptors. They chase Owen and Claire on a motorcycle. Carnotaurus attacking downtown. People get eaten. Stunning shots of World on Fire. Elite and Claire team up. Or Ellie and Claire team up. Alan Grant is the, rap is the Raptor expert. He's back to help Owen. Owen makes a promise to dinosaur jokes in Goldblum versus Gigantosaurus, Gigantosaurus versus the original trio, or Giganto, or Gianto, Giganto versus the original trio. I'm pretty sure I butchered a lot of that stuff because some of it's coming up blurry for me, but they showed a lot of cool things apparently in this second trailer and you can screenshot that to go over that apparently what was shown in the footage. Now, my again biggest fear so far with Jurassic World Dominion is the idea that knowing that Biosyn is going to be making a very is going to be factoring it very heavily in the sense that it's something that is coming full circle from what we got introduced to in the original Jurassic Park since we know Dennis Nedry and what he did and his um embryo scheme with Biosyn and Dodgson how that ultimately led to what happened in the original film because of his failures to be able to complete that appropriately and successfully while also leaving everything shut down and disarmed letting all the dinosaurs out with Biosyn making a comeback and Dodgson himself it seems like they're going to try to attempt to retcon a lot of things and try to make their narrative work by reestablishing and editing things that were already established as true but saying no it's actually this is actually what happened all in an effort to make their narrative work which then in return on my end would make me say that your narrative is pretty weak because you had to go back and alter a lot of things rather than just extending on what was established so if they start to do stuff like that then you know that's what i'm mostly concerned with i am excited to see these characters get together and unite and navigate this world that's been overran with dinosaurs seeing how human civilization has responded to it it seems like we'll get to see glimpses of this um, and just seeing how humans and dinosaurs are coexisting when we know we're not supposed to be dinosaurs and humans were not intended to coexist. So we'll probably see a lot of carnage going on with, in that regard. I'm going to be very interested to see 
if we get any like sequences that show maybe families trying to live a normal life while dinosaurs are roaming the streets how are people still going to work you know all these questions are raised by this because dinosaurs and humans again are not supposed to be coexisting like this dinosaurs would i would say they would they would annihilate us if if it actually came to it they would annihilate us because they don't need the things that we require day in and out in a society where we've kind of set up a lot of these things they're unsanctioned creatures they have always been unsanctioned and they will tear everything up in their path and we are just in their way and they will reclaim this earth so if this is the end of the jurassic era i'm glad we're going to get to see a lot of glimpses of how the fallout from Fallen Kingdom has impacted a lot of cities, I guess, because it sounds like also Owen will be riding around in a city where dinosaurs are just over overrunning the city. Not sure if he's going to be around a lot of carnivores or anything like that, but we'll see what ultimately happens. And hopefully this second trailer arrives online sooner rather than later. So all of you can enjoy it and all of myself included can enjoy it to kind of get a get an understanding of what exactly is going down in it uh the footage that was shown at CinemaCon again was only exclusively shown there so hopefully when it arrives online we'll get to see how these characters interact with each other see how the original trio of characters are going to get involved and see how everyone comes together and what other cool shots are going to be shown in this trailer or in this movie for the from the trailers because we know honestly that this movie will be entertaining no doubt about it i don't think there's a single dull jurassic park movie the closest one to it uh, for me is the lost world jurassic park but even then they all have their shiny moments some have their more grim moments jurassic park 3 not gonna lie <laughs> but all in all i'm excited for jurassic world dominion can't wait to see what else comes after dominion if they end up doing that but knowing how this ip basically has been the most successful universal ip i would think maybe even more successful than fast and furious i i might be mistaken there they're gonna keep cranking these movies out they're, they just are they're gonna keep cranking these movies out and the jurassic era ending might mean that we'll get more movies just not titled jurassic something but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post occasion and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video video.